Okay, they've the younger the softer voice, and the bear soft voice as well, but can be uh, rougher. I see you're doing well, Garong. Uh, uh, brother, what are you doing here? We haven't seen each other in so long. Is that what you chose to say? I, I just didn't expect you to come over to see me. I mean, our shops are quite close together, but you never came over. I thought you were still angry with me. I'm not here to talk to you about what happened before. I'm just going to ask you this. That adventure tour was made because of me, right? I knew I wouldn't be able to hide anything from you. Wait! Now I'm as confused! Wasn't that boy inspired by Bennett? <laughs> I see you two have arrived as well. I'm sorry for not explaining previously, but I didn't know where to begin. All those adventures did give me critical inspiration. My brother was the real reason I insisted on having the toy made. See what might be complicated for you. Garon, your mockishness hasn't changed one bit. You haven't changed either, brother. I'm more and more convinced that, that you and that adventurer are the same type of person. <laughs> I don't have a vision. No, am I an adventurer. But you have that same adventurous spirit. Bennett lives in an adventure, while you live for adventure. <laughs> did you pick that? Did you pick that flattery up from me too? How can that be? You've never been a flatterer, and you've never asked to tell me that I haven't had any fighting spirits. And while the truth is frustrating, it is the truth nonetheless. You've always been trying to be the best toy merchant ever. But I acceded to the family's arrangements, continuing the cycle of clockmaking. Well, we did learn a pretty cool lore bit. We found out that his ancestor was one of the researchers in the original Institute of Fontaine, hundreds of years ago during the Cambrian Calamity. Only people like you and Bennett could turn their passions into their profession. I cannot. It would take a hundred of me to match your courage. Come on, don't say that about yourself. There's no point hiding this. When my brother first started his, his intentions to move his shop next to mine, my first reaction was to consider moving the shop. Father would be ashamed, and rightly so. But in the end, the Northern Bank took that spot and separated us. Happy coincidence, I guess, you could say. Was it though? Yeah, our bond told us about it. Hmm. Do you really think the world is full of happy coincidences? As a Northland Bank just so happened to come between us at that time? What do you mean, Lever? I had deserved that spot long ago, but a new idea struck me, so. I transferred it to them for a low price. This did not just come out of nowhere, you know. So you were the one who got them involved? Huh? Did you think that was your previous vision? A straight policy or something? Hmm. Ever since I left, my goal has always been to be the greatest toy merchant. But what sort of greatness would be if the family feud made my brother move away in the process, huh? was a concern to Paimon. You were just being excused when you said you wanted Karen to apologize, weren't you? Uh, apologize? Sorry. Uh, apologize? <clears throat> uh, what's a, what's apologize? Did I ever say that? Wow, that's a really earnest denial, considering you actually did say. <laughs> I am here to congratulate you. Come on, that toy. It's quite well made. <laughs> it's been a long time since I last heard a word of praise from you, brother. I didn't think that. 
I have also brought you a gift. Here's the data I had used to adventurous gather over the last few days. This would help you create an even more interesting toy. Uh, this would help you create something even more interesting. Uh, huh? But weren't you going to make toy champion do lists? That data is important to you, isn't it? That is planned and suspended. The market shifted faster than I thought, so some ad hoc adjustments will be necessary. Uh, but this data, how could I just take it? You take it when I give it to you, obviously. <laughs> oh, it's a nice ending to the story. In that case, I'll take it. For safekeeping. Feel free to reclaim it should you ever need it again. Solivere's other plan was to give it to his brother. I apologize, dear customers, that I did not ask you for suggestions before doing this. Oh, it's fine. You paid us, didn't you? And that's your personal matter. This was totally worth it. The relationship with your brother can be improved. Right, Traveler? My thoughts were lying on this indeed. We're honest businessmen, too. <laughs> this is a successful third party intervention. Appreciate your good intentions, but there's no need. Hmm. I feel the same way. Wait, so this we could agree on? That Bennett fellow said this too, didn't he? The world is full of all sorts of people. Oh, now the world is full of all sorts of people. So you did remember that part. The world is full of all sorts of people, and they are all have sights that only they can see. If I learned anything from him at all, this would be it. <laughs> Garon and I are just different people, which is why we set out in different paths. Perhaps he thinks that my path is too adventurous, and I, for my part, can't stand the kind of placid existence he leads. <laughs> that is right. If the hour and does a minute hand's work, it will get fired without compensation the next day. And while intense challenges are an adventure, is a simple life not one as well? Everyone's on their own journey of adventure. So, since we've chosen our direction, let's walk down that path and seek our own unique sights. And I'll occasionally go to meet with you. After all, your role would be quite difficult. Don't you worry about me. At least I know how to enlist third parties to help me out of jams. I didn't sit around waiting for these adventures or the Northland Bank, let me tell you that. <laughs> and what will you do that and what will you do when there's a problem that even a third party cannot solve? I'm sure you know how to shift the gears. The less durable you'll be. I worry that. And if we meet, we'll meet. What else can we do, huh? That's life. Say la vie. No. You won't be defeated by life. Just like men. And if things prove otherwise. Yeah? I'll send you flying with a knuckle sandwich. <laughs> ha! Brat! Listen to yourself. Talking to your big brother like that. Don't get too far. Well, if Lady Farina can suggest this for a while, then the little brother can borrow the big brother's blinds, right? <laughs> I see you're figuring out spontaneous sounds. I'd like to ask you something. So, if you're free, let's meet outside my shop later. That's all I've to say for you. Garon, I'll be heading back now. I haven't gone back, have you? Well, I must thank you. I'm sure Fazer would be pleased if my brother and I finally spoke.
I mean, it's very tempting to try to perfect the other challenges, but I'll save that for uh, off stream. The compulsion in my brain does not mean I have to show you guys the compulsion. Well, not as the weekend. In which case, the weekend, you guys are seeing me going for a full 100% exploration of the map, not the uh, all the achievements. My goodness, there's like over a thousand to one achievements already. Your ear. Well, you seem to be in a good mood. Thanks to your help. Speaking of which, Caron stripped to Mondstadt gave me an idea. Perhaps I should go travel around for a bit and find some inspiration for toys myself. You've traveled there well. You probably know some friends like that, man. Do you have any suggestions for me? Well, we do have a lot of friends, but when it comes to toy inspiration, that might be a bit tough. Why not look for a third party? Huh? We're a third, by a third party, aren't we? <laughs> Are you referring to the Northern Bank? To a Abinje. Do you mean that we can make a toy scene that's a Abinje? Yes. Ah! Traveler! Do you mean. Oh! Paimon gets it! <laughs> Le Bear! Did you know there's a very special Harbinger whom they call the. the greatest base toy salesman is Naya? <laughs> yep, it's talking about child. For anyone confused about why a child is so friendly in Fontaine's event, uh, Fontaine's Archon Quest, the previous events where you meet with child, literally one of them is this, the toy salesman thing, and the other one is um, having him help you resolve the ancient grudge of a paper doll who forgot what its purpose was. He didn't see anything, he didn't even like cause any trouble, he was just fully helping you out. Well. He did take some of the paper charms, and it might show up again as on Myogji art uh, somewhere else. But, you know, aside from that, <laughs> he was very, very cordial and nice. And he's currently being featured in the banner. I just realized I switched to my other voice. Um, sorry, it's a subconscious thing. When I'm talking, um, IRL or in real life, I tend to use my high-pitched voice because it's hard for people to understand when I speak in my natural voice. It's a bit of a weird complex on my end. <laughs> so, let's go ahead and continue the stream here. Oh, it's September. Oh, 25% off for all the streams I sub to. Cool. Oh, no, not right now. Uh, doing stuff right now. I don't have the exact amount of cash to spend on all 20 of the streamers I want to support. <laughs> what? Is there such a person? Of course! And he's a real expert too! Maybe it'll inspire you! And, you know, a toy merchant and a seller would make a pretty awesome combo! Don't you think? Thanks for your suggestions. They've been very helpful. I don't think it would be easy to gain contact with the Avenger, but I do have some connections at the Northern Bank. I'll see what I can do. Don't let it be invited to try whatever new toy you come up with. I will. Keep an ear out for news from me. There we go. That's the end of the event. So... I'll inform, <clears throat> I'll inform you if my efforts have not back there any fruit. Our Bon and our bear don't seem to be in today. They took leave. Said they had a new idea for toys. Weird, if you ask me. They usually can't think of anything but their favorite comedies. Forget having any thoughts about toys. What this change of art is about, I couldn't guess. Huh. <sighs> 
wonder where they are then. Oh! I finished the event pretty early. Um, can we play Bangar next time? Wanna play a game with me? What game? A game of guess your savings. I'll call out the number, and you can tell me if it's higher or lower than the correct number. Bet you are getting three guesses. This game might reach 5C. Huh? Come on. Don't you trust me? I won't tell anyone else. Honest. I just want to know if I'm raising people right, you know? Oh, I have locked this one here. Uh, since we actually finished early. But I guess we have a little bit of time to try the try to max out the mini game challenges. A letter to Arman. Hello, Arman. Is Arman there? This is Arbon and Albert. That don't really inspired us back there. We've got a new idea and we need your help. I'm sure you'll be able to do it. We call it the automated comedytron. All we'll need. Is to do is to enter some comic line into it, and out of its mouth shall come comedy. Oh, they even resolved the, the side characters in the event story. Poor, um, poor guy had a head injury which caused him to not able to pursue his dream of comedy. And now, here they are inventing an action figure with real voice lines. But I feel that if it's just the two of us, this thing won't be interesting enough. So please, help us come up with some lines. We know you don't say much, but I'm sure you know a banger or ten. Come on, surely you must be interested in this somewhat. We'll see you after work, alright? Alright! <laughs> Let's go ahead and uh, play this game. So let's see if I can perfect uh, these last two challenges. I'll only do one attempt each. I don't take up too much of both time watching the stream. That was the end. Oof. Recon the zone with that one. Oof. 100%. <laughs> Alright, Bennett, this is for you. Let's try the third one. Again, I'll only give it one attempt. I don't want to take up too much for you guys' time. Then I'm going to uh, do the boss hunting. They keep making the rhythm games more festival.
So I really love the uh, once we get actual, the actual instruments. Or not actual instruments, but you know what I mean. I was going to do it off stream, but it was a lot easier than I realized. I guess I was just too into my head the first time I did it. Well, in all honesty, I had planned for making my entire stream about finishing up the event, but, well, it turns out that there really wasn't that much to it. So, uh, these 15 to 20 odd minutes are really all there is. If you're interested in seeing what kind of shenanigans I get up to in my normal Genshin stream, outside of doing actual progress like doing this event, it's mostly just an hour and 20 minutes of me um, fighting weekly bosses, doing dailies, doing side quests, and other such uh, normal exploration stuff that RPG players like myself enjoy. If you're interested in that, I do have a Twitch where you can see the fully unedited, unhinged, and Frankly, a little bit boring streams of mine over on twitch.tv slash decafinvidia. Otherwise, uh, I'm not sure why you watched all three parts or even skipped to the ending. Why you're even still here listening. I just want to say, uh, thank you. And, uh, I hope that you enjoyed whatever you did see of my videos. But I'll let the um, past me just do the sign off about two hours after the stream had uh, gone on. So, in the meantime, keep in mind and remember that decaf and videos can Creative Commons Attribution Non Commercial Share Alike 4.0 International License. Off you get. You can ring my bell, ring my bell.